What you will need for this recipe, a butternut squash, some celery, medium sized onion, potato, herb of your choice, I'm using parsley today, you can use thyme, oregano, any type of fresh herb, or dried. Uh, cold pressed oil, I'm using safflower today, and I'll probably finish with some olive oil. Uh, vegetable bouillon, you can use either a bouillon powder or a bouillon cube, black pepper, and salt. First thing we'll do, just slice your onion in half, take off the outer skin. Potato in half. Okay, done. Butternut squash. Put the ends. Stand it upright so you have a flat surface. You need to sharpen this knife. Take off the skin, cut it into chunks. Just gonna slice out the seeds. Put this into a bowl, and I would say one to two stalks of celery. I'm gonna use two. Rough chop. Wash the celery earlier. That's what you need to start. So let's get to the stove. Okay, so I have my pan on high. Just pour in a tablespoon to two tablespoons of oil. It's up to you. Just put these in potato and the onion, just like this. going to take a moment and cover this. Okay, you can see my potatoes are beginning to get brown. So at this point, you just throw in the butternut squash, throw in the salt, black pepper. The bouillon can be salty, but this will have salt. I'm just using a little bit to add some flavor. Cover the vegetables with water. And we'll cover. We're going to allow a little steam to release. Okay, so this has been cooking for about 20 minutes. And you can just check and see the potatoes soft, the butternut squash is really soft, the celery, the onion, everything's soft. So I'm going to turn it off. Take a blender. I'm going to put all this, I'm going to look for the celery. Onion and potato and some of the butternut squash. Take some of that liquid. You could wait a couple minutes for this to cool down before blending. You want to be safe here. Hot liquid in a blender. Okay, so I'm allowing some of the steam to uh, release. I'm just going to take this in case it splatters, put it over the blender top. Okay, return that to the pot. So I'll just bring it up to a boil one more time. Now, if you like, also you could add at this point, if, you, if you're vegan, you could add some earth balance, just to kind of get that buttery flavor. Or if 
if you're a lacto veg, you could add a little bit of butter. And that's just at the very end. So this is done. I'm going to plate the soup. Okay, and let's just add a little bit of parsley. Grab my knife. Just for some color. And again, it's any herb that you like. go back over to the table. I'm going to finish with just a drizzle of olive oil for some flavor. This is a wonderful cold pressed organic olive oil. A little black pepper. And there you go. Easy butternut squash soup.